Hello, everyone. I wanted to talk a little bit about fear. I've done videos in the past where I talk about fear, how we need to work with the emotion and really raise the frequency of these vibrations. It all stems from programming, from trauma and things of that nature. And the fear response can often powerfully affect the decision making that we make, our, our ability to make decisions that are in alignment with our soul. The fear comes up and we often react to it and maybe make a decision that is basically suppressing the opportunity to feel that fear. And that decision is oftentimes not in alignment with our soul's path, with our true life desires. Has that resonated with you? Have you done that in the past? Maybe an opportunity presented itself, fear came up, but you didn't take the opportunity um, because you aligned with the fear. Well, there are situations where um, fear is is very important. And I don't want to discount that emotion at all. These dense emotions are grounding frequencies. They keep us grounded here in the body, right? They're dense. Um, they're, they're what really what matter is made up of, right? These denser, slower vibrating frequencies. And fear is one of those frequencies. So we can't escape it. It's part of nature. Um, but what happens with fear is that we let it rule our life. We let it uh, get involved with or come up and creep up when we're presented with decisions that really fear has no place in, in making that decision, right? But yet we're influenced by the fear because it's running in our subconscious. Why does that happen? Well, think about being attacked by a bear, okay? Or there's a bear coming at you. Big grizzly bear is coming at you, right? You're going you're gonna to get into a fear response. It's called fight or flight. Your body's going to release all sorts of chemicals. Your heart rate's going to speed up. You're going to start to sweat, you're going to want to flee the scene, right? That's a survival instinct. That's fear. And that's the emotion I'm talking about. The difference is what happens is when we, that situation, whatever situation gave rise to the real fear, the life-saving fear, the fight or flight response, that never gets shut off. It's like a light switch comes on and we forget to turn it off. So what happens is that energy remains present when things calm down that program is still running in our subconscious mind and it's influencing decisions that we make. So when that's open and the subconscious has direct access and we're making decisions based on this fear response, we get pulled off into tangents that don't resonate with our soul's purpose, right? We end up in situations that don't feel so good. Maybe it's relationships, jobs. We find repeating patterns and we continue to do that because this fear response is running in the background, right? The bear is still chasing after us. We don't see it, but our mind thinks it's there. Okay. So it keeps us in this heightened state of anxiety and fear. So what we want to do is we want to be able to shut that trap door, okay, between the subconscious and the conscious mind. Um, when we can do that, when we bring awareness to the fear that is arising in our day to day lives, and we can detach from that and feel it and allow it to process and realize that these situations don't warrant that fight or flight response, something happens. Chemicals in the body change and we start to relax a little bit. The heart rate slows down. We get to be able to take deeper breaths. We're deep breathing from the lower lobes of the lungs instead of up the upper lobes of the lungs. The cortisol, the stress chemicals, that response dissipates. Okay. And we start to be able to get present because we're not constantly running in that anxiety mode of fear. Okay. So essentially that closes that trap door and, and stops that energy from influencing our day-to-day -day decisions. And when we can do that, then our life starts to move into alignment with our soul's path because those emotions are no longer influencing us. Think about trying to make you know, a decision with, you know, in the background, subconscious, you're being, you know, chased by a bear, you're drowning in a lake, whatever it may be, whatever the fear is, whatever the trauma might be, that energy is running in the background and it's influencing every decision that you make. You're going to get, you're going to live a life of stress, of anxiety. You're going to run yourself down. You're going to weaken your immune system. You're going to start to get sick. You're going to develop chronic illness dot, 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 worse, 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 right? So when we can detach from that, we could recenter and realize that the actual situation does not 
require that fear energy, that fear response, that life-saving fight or flight mode. We detach from it. We recenter. We reground into our body, bring our consciousness back in here, align with our soul, and we make a different decision. We make a decision that is in alignment with our soul's path. So I wanted to bring clarity to that. I've had people um, comment on things, especially on Facebook. Uh, I've got a fear video over there that's got thousands and thousands of views. And um, I want to make it clear that I am not saying that fear is bad, right? Fear can appear bad when we allow it to creep up and control situations when we don't have awareness of it in situations where it doesn't really apply or it's not necessary. It's not a fight or flight situation. It's not a life-saving situation. So very clear on that. Wanted to clarify that. So if you guys have any questions, any comments, feel free to leave it below. I'd love to hear from you. Share this video if you know anybody that it can help and like and subscribe. Thank you.